Clayton's forward position. Ruckman go at it again. This time Clayton does well, knocks the ball to the advantage of Beck. But uh, unfortunately, again, the ball straight back over the boundary line now and to be thrown back into play. Laura, it's fair to say neither side here are running the ball anywhere near as Bannockburn yesterday? No, definitely not, Eric. There's no doubt about that. There's a little bit more urgency in the game now, though. Uh, I think the coaches have given the guys a bit of a chatty chat at half-time. Well, he wins the ball, tries to put the ball back into the hot spot, That's but uh, Werribee with numbers have come out of the uh, back line with Brad Jewell carrying the ball, has Simmons running forward, and he now takes the mark. Plays on quickly, and he's going, oh, call the play on. Furslan tank brings him down to tackle. Gillum's there in support, though, and now he goes forward quickly by foot, has Mabry leading the ball. Oh, a nice clean pick-up. Now Let able to spin back his left foot, has a chance to steady, goes to Fastook on the point of the square, oh. can't take the ball. Cara there, trying to uh, knock the ball forward, sees Furman come through, pick the ball up, outside in the back pocket now, had time to steady goes wide, outside 50, Joel Page is there, he needs to be good because he's got two players but Holiday has been in there to support him now and goes back to Page by hand and his poor kick finds Corey Wallace at the uh, centre square, but uh, a free kick there to Wallace with um, the kick Luke been Parker coming today, though, Dale, for some of the players, haven't they? Yeah, been they up and under to... and uh, few hospital kicks there. Not being told they've got time. I think, Laurie, I think the talk around the ball is pretty ordinary today. So, Corey Wallace has played a good first half of the Werribee side. Cucks the ball. Goes short over the top. Chris Gillum still outside 50. Marks well in front of Casina. So, Chris Gillum has players moving. Shannon Long towards the goal square. Goes over his head. Pushing back. Is Mabry. For but Stuka! Up his chest. And for Stuka, picks the ball in the goal square and kicks the goal for the Werribee side. His second for the afternoon. It's unusual to see him playing that forward role, but Jason Vestuka kicks Werribee's eighth. They move to eight goals, seven. They trail Bell Post till now. Eight goals, 12. So only five points in the game, and uh, nearly four minutes gone, third quarter Raiders bingo scoreboard. Well, I like the idea for Stuka starting off in the half-forward flank. That's what he's done in this third quarter. But they have to get the centre clearances. There's no point in being out there if uh, they don't get the clearances. And... Uh, uh, if they can do that, they might be able to snare a couple of goals through him. They've He's getting fairly with, heavily tagged, so uh, it's probably not a bad idea. They've blokes in that forward line. Anyway, Stuka Gillum's there now. Chug. Chug. So they've got some goal-kicking power in there if they can get the ball forward quickly. So back in the middle. <coughs> ball in the air. Four minutes gone. Third quarter. One goal to uh, Werribee for the quarter. Page came off his wing. Handball to Bowyer. Out wide to uh, Parker. Has a bounce. Then a handball to Lewis. He runs inside 50. Could nearly get the distance from there. Long kick from Nathan Lewis. Oh, he just missed to the left-hand side. Gee, they're normally giving goals to him. But uh, another miss for Bell Pastel. Eight goals, 13. 61. They lead Werribee Central's 8-7-55. Raiders Bingo third quarter scoreboard. You're right. Six minutes gone. You're Five right. minutes. You're right, Eric. Nathan Lewis, would be, you know, he was livid with the boys at half-time about their uh, missed opportunities, and he hasn't done anything about it then. So, uh, ball comes in. Wallace, handball to Simmons. Simmons, a long kick to half-forward. Oh, good uh, reading of the football there by Chug. Took the mark on centre wing. Yeah, well, how can he run forward like that? But uh, umpire did nothing about it. It's gone back to uh, the full forward positions. Kazuna running with the flight of the footy. Can't control it. He's taken it right across the ground. Now he's gone to the boundary and uh, it's on in front of us. And uh, I'm not too sure who instigated all that. But uh, there's a couple of pretty good ones thrown. But Chris, Chris Gillum has point. hooked it around the body and he's missed to the left-hand side. So another score where of his centrals. And uh, maybe... They're getting back into this game. Eight goals, 8.56. They trail Bell Post still, 8.13.61. Raiders bingo, third quarter scoreboard, six minutes gone. I think the game's hotting up about there a bit. I think there's a bit of urgency happening. Well, there was a bit of urgency in front of us there, wasn't there? Yeah, <laughs> I was going to, I wasn't calling. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be careful. One might have missed and hit us. <laughs> So from the kick-in car, a short chip still inside defensive 50. Finds Furman for Bell Post Hill. Furman now, still inside defensive 50. Gee, they're chipping it around. That's always dangerous, but Handley takes the mark. Chips it again. <coughs> this time to uh, Holiday. Now to Furman, who's running. Furman now tries to draw a player. Has a bounce. Doesn't get the player to come to him, so has to kick it towards the contest in the middle. Bowyer and the Carlton. Bowyer dropped the chess mark. Handball out wide to Page. Page now eludes a tackle. 
Terrible kick towards half forward. Wells, almost a one-handed mark. Can't take it. Off the ground go Werribee Centrals. Good work, Dixon. And he's got support from Simmons. Simmons now. A well-weighted kick, unfortunately, for Wallace. Can't take the mark. And, <coughs> well, the ball is over the line. Oh, Werribee were away. But uh, Parker took the ball over the line, according to the boundary umpire. And in front of the social club here, seven minutes gone in the third quarter. 8-13, plays 8-8. Bell Postel in charge. Ball thrown back into play. Clayton in front, wins the possession, knocks it forward towards Cornish, I think, running onto the ball. Parker does well to get in front of him, picks the ball up now, has time to steady, puts the ball back towards an half forward. Dyer comes out, goes through his hands or over his head, and it's now running forward. Lewis runs onto the ball, kicks the ball off the ground, looking for a right bounce to pop up. Has time now, screws the ball around the corner, heads towards the goal square, but Swates going back with the flight of the ball, takes the mark right on the goal line. So Swates, deep in the defence there, has a chance now, goes by hand, probably a little bit risky, has... Kennedy, oh. he goes to Mick Kennedy, drops an easy mark on his chest, now they're under pressure, the ball's gone to the point of the square, and there's going to be a ball up, about 15 metres out from goal. I reckon he was looking to where he's going to go next, instead of worrying about the ball. <coughs> so, ball now, 15 metres out, directly in front of the Bell Post Hill goal, Tar in ruck, being pushed yeah, under it, yeah. signs being held, and Justin Tar. That's too easy, isn't it? it shouldn't, that shouldn't happen. He's uh, been awarded a free kick for a hold there, and uh, just a big fella just holding his holding his ground has earned him the free kick. So against Thwaites, who's tried to push him out of the road, Justin Tarr, 15 metres out, directly in front, goes at goal. Oh, he's gone across the front of it, and he has missed oh, the goal. Gee, that's so Bell Post still throwing away some very good opportunities again early in the third quarter. They moved to eight goals, 14. They lead. The Werribee side, eight goals, eight. So a goal of difference now. And uh, nine and a half minutes gone in this third quarter. The ball <coughs> comes out, goes to Wallace quickly. He plays round forward, looking for Gillum. But Casino over the top, knocks the ball out in front of the St Albans Social Club there. And we've gone uh, just on uh, eight and a half, nearly nine minutes now. 3.11 since quarter time. Bell Post Hill. Looks a bit like their Hawthorne North Melbourne game yesterday. Mm. So ball thrown back into play. Bowyer wins possession, knocks the ball, picked up by Handley, goes forward to half forward again, Dyer in front, good possession there, work from Kennedy, best supported by Kennedy also, that is in now, it's picked up by Hardy, goes to Hard, um, Handley it is, goes quickly around the corner, unfortunately Mark is dropped by Brennan Kennedy, uh, Stewie Dyer picks the ball up, heads the ball towards goal, that's a nice looking kick, and this time Justin Tarr has marked the ball right in the goal square, directly in front, and from two yards out, you would think <laughs> that this cannot be missed. <laughs> they use the word think. <laughs> it's there you are. That's the way to do it. We've got one on the board now. So Justin Tarr has made amends for his last error and puts the ninth goal on the board now for Bell Post Hill. They move to nine goals, 14. They lead Werribee Central's eight goals, eight. Laurie, you, you just sense that perhaps one side or the other need a couple of goals in succession, and it could break the game. Yeah, and I think uh, the way the game's going, it's probably more likely to be Bell Post Hill. They're getting into the hot spot there, Eric, and Claus, uh, Werribee just can't seem to get forward. Uh, they're, they're getting the footy, they're running out the back okay, but that's uh, where it's breaking down, and uh, they've got to find an avenue to goal, and uh, they've had trouble with it all day. Uh, Bell Post still find it, but they're just missing on, uh, missing some shots on goal. So in the middle, the uh, throw-up favoured Bowyer on that occasion. Went for it and got it away uncontested. Picked up in the middle by uh, Holiday with strength. Long handball to Fursland. He attacks the footy out wide to Page by hand. Now Page. The easy kick, and it's a long kick inside 50. At the back was Wells. Can't take the mark. Werribee. Handball comes out to Dave Kennedy. Across the ground, Simmons is making good ground. He does make the, uh, the mark, takes it. Hooks it around the body. I'm not too sure. Uh, Fastuka has got two to boot, and uh, he's got real trouble because a strong uh, shepherd there from uh, Fursland has uh, Fastuka off the footy, and the uh, ball's gone back inside 50 for Bell Postel again. Werribee under a bit of pressure at the moment as uh, Kennedy. That was uh, Mick, gets the ball towards centre wing. Now we've got a foot race between uh, Fastuka and Hanley. Hanley, oh, I don't know about uh, whether that could have been uh, construed as deliberate. He uh, didn't disguise it very well. The umpire was happy with the effort. So at the 11 and a half minute mark of the third quarter, 68 plays 56. Belpo still still in the lead. Bowyer gets the tap down from the throw in. 
Parker at the back, hooks it around the body, goes towards Sinar Ford, off oh, from behind. Well, I saw Dyer took that mark but dropped it and uh, picked up by Dave Kennedy. Just a little chip pass, finds Simmons. Simmons, well, a bit of awareness, knew the player was coming, but uh, they're in a bit of bother here, Werribee, because they've uh, let the ball go. Oh, gee, there was a head-eye tackle went there. Oh. These umpires, surely, we can see it from here, surely they can see it from 10 metres away. That was terrible. The mark now paid and uh, so late with the whistle that the umpire had already played, the players had already played on. Now Dyer, his tackle, throws it towards half forward. Picked up by Wells, he's thrown to the ground. Gee whiz, it's pretty willing. Where are we now? They chip it out to uh, Jewel. Takes the mark in the back pocket, plays oh. on perhaps when he didn't have to. And now Moreland put enough pressure on him to win the ball back. Handball to advantage. Dyer did not Lazy. even look where he was kicking that. Straight over the boundary line. Peter Kelly picked it. He went absolutely lazy. A very, very poor effort. Twelve and a half minutes gone, Dale, in the quarter. See if he can do a bit better. 9-14, Bell Post, lead where be 8-8. So, Kennedy this time to bring the ball back, and it's Dave. Let's hope we can get some excitement happening here. So I think North Geelong will be licking their lips at the pleasant time. So ball kicked in by Kennedy. Goes out toward 50. Clayton over the top. Can't take the mark. Shannon reads the ball well. Comes through the pack. Gets a hand out. Goes to Cornish. His handball can't find Gillum because Page comes across. Chris Gillum actually wins possession of the ball very well there. Goes wider looking for Vestuka. Picks up on the half volley. Gets around Nathan Lewis. Now goes over the top of Page, short by foot. Roll and Beck pushing down the ground. Has Wallace inside, has Shannon inside. Goes to Wallace. Over the top will be Chug. Oh, Carr doesn't attempt to try and spoil. Got a good and pair of holds, Chug. Yeah, that, that's Brendan Chug up. He did. He should have been too. You're right there in the call. Uh, Chug's gone forward quickly, and Matt Shannon's pushed down the ground. And I would think that this ball will go through for a goal because Matt Shannon is a very good user of the ball. He's only 35, probably 30 metres out from goal. Not quietly directly in front, but uh, Matt Shannon has an opportunity to bring this game right back into uh, Werribee's sights again. Shannon comes in. Holiday stands the mark. It's a nice kick off the boot, but I think it's gone across the front of goal. It has again, and it's another behind to the Werribee side and also to Matt Shannon. So eight goals, nine. What's his stats, uh, Laurie? Matt Shannon's. Matt today. Shannon, uh, nine kicks, six handballs. So oh. at the 14 minute mark of the uh, third quarter, the short chip in finds Furman. He's uh, kicked it toward the boundary, and uh, Parker, basically unattended, takes the mark, chips it to centre wing, finds Wells. Wells back into the corridor. Kazuna takes the mark and goes. He's uh, too much pace there for Roland Beck. He's gone right across the ground. The kick is not good. Page now. They've created the loose man. Bell post hill. A bit of skill needed now, and that's good to Hardy. Hardy now back into the corridor at full forward. Terrible attempt at Mark. And, uh, well, Dixon Gee. not uh, at least... Uh, uh, Kennedy. Kennedy not paid. Goodness Gee. me. It's... Uh, Gee, there's some funny-looking decisions going on, but the ball finally comes out to Hardy by hand, and uh, maybe the deadlock's broken because Hardy's kicked another goal for the Bell Post Hill side from 20 metres out, and that's their tenth. They've got two goals in a row. 10-14-74, Bell Post Hill. 8-9-57, Werribee Centrals. Raiders bingo third, uh, third quarter scoreboard, 15 minutes gone. Well, I'm going to say something, and this is unusual for me, because I never, ever criticise umpires, as Eric knows. <coughs> and I'll tell you what, they've changed their, they've changed their style of umpiring. They were paying those marks. That was a mark to Werribee. Yeah, I thought it was a good clock, And uh, you can't uh, change your game uh, plan through in the game if you're an umpire. Stick to what you're doing. At least the players can read you. So the ball thrown back into the centre square. Good read there from Corley Worrells. Comes through, takes a bounce. Goes in towards the half forward line and Mabry approaches the ball. Picks it up very cleanly. Goes back on his left foot and has had a shot on goal. Oh. But Cameron Carr takes a good strong mark going back with the flight of the ball. No pressure there but a good mark. And Cameron Carr on his left foot goes straight down the ground. A poor looking kick Jeez. into a contest and a mark's been taken by Mate. Cornish. And that's, uh, I why don't know what you, he was looking at there. Why would you go there for? And why would you, he's a right footer, isn't he? Yeah. Why would you kick left footer? I'm not too sure, but uh, probably not a good option. And he'll obviously uh, maybe regret that decision, but uh, he's made it. And Sean. now we have Sean Cornish. He's got to nail this. From about 35 metres out directly in front. So where are we centrals with another opportunity here? Oh, you're kidding me. I'm going home. <laughs> and that's a... Uh, it's been some pretty ordinary goal kicking, hasn't it? I don't think any side wants to advance any further, I think, from the way the things are going. But, uh, look, it's, uh, 
Pressure of the situation, maybe? I don't know. But let's hope someone can uh, calm those nerves. But Nathan Lewis now kicks to himself, goes long, brings the ball to the centre square, going back as Robinson knocks the fly to the ball towards the bell post still in. But coming through the back of the pack was Beck. Handballs to Char, goes forward again. This time Carr tries to spoil Marinovic. Dives on the ball. He's, uh, I think, maybe on the bottom of the pack. The umpires come in and says he's got no opportunity to get that ball out. Furman comes up with the ball, hands it back to the umpire. See, Matt Shannon's uh, come off the ground and replaced by, uh, was it Jones Norton? So yes, uh, <coughs> he's maybe struggling a bit. Uh, mm. Shannon came in under a bit of a cloud, but uh, at the 17 minute mark, the ball uh, balled up at centre half forward for Werribee. It's kicked very, very wide. Furman just touched the ball before it went over the boundary. It's out of bounds, 70 metres from the uh, Werribee goal, kicking to the southern end in this uh, third quarter. And uh, Belpo still in control at the moment. Tap down, came to Wells. Alpha step goes towards centre wing. Lewis takes the ball, but Parker gets hold of the footy. He's pinged for holding. Gee, not much. Uh, the bloke who's got the guts to go for the football is not getting too much here today, I don't think. And uh, I don't know if that's go good for our game of footy. Ball back into the middle, and Wallace takes the mark for Werribee. Kicks it long inside 50, and that's a good kick and good position made there by Brendan Chug. Man on the marks now, 45 metres from the goal. And, uh, well, Chuck, I think he's, a goal, he's a goal kicker. He's got to kick the goal now, Laurie, as you mentioned. Too slow. The position was made by Simmons. But Brendan Chug, 18-minute mark, a very, very important kick, I, I would suggest, in the context of this game for Werribee Centrals. About to move in. Man has gone a long way back off the mark. This will be interesting because One, uh, to see whether he, uh, how close he comes up. He's, uh, well, he's gained uh, about 10 metres, I reckon, Chug there. And it's a magnificent kick from Brendan Chug. It is a goal. And uh, maybe that's the spark that the Werribee Central side need. That's their second for the quarter. And they go now to 9-10-64. They trail by 10 points. Bell post till 10-14-74. Raiders bingo third quarter scoreboard. 18 and a half minutes gone. Well, that was a nice uh, well way to kick there. There was no doubt about that there. It, 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 then it's literally run up. But uh, I think I would forget what I was doing on running up there. I think, what am I doing? Kicking here or handball? At any rate, uh, it was a nice goal. And they certainly need that, the Werribee sides. They've uh, still got a glimmer of hope. There's a glimmer while this game's alive, I suppose, on either side here. But uh, it's a game. We're looking back into the centre of the ground. Bayer in ruck. Clayton's there now. Bowyer, Clayton backhands it, picked up by Hardy. Handley comes in, tries to steal it out of his hands. Umpire says, we're going nowhere, and I'll throw the ball up again. So we haven't advanced much out of that centre square or centre circle. Both Ruckman looking to gain position here. Bowyer eases Clayton on the ball, but Clayton does well. Reaches back, Handley coming through, can't pick the ball up. Wallace, I think, is underneath the pack. No, it's not. Cornish it is. And the umpire again balls the ball up, throws it in the air. Centre of the ground, still there after three three goes. This time it comes out. Cornish, oh, oh high out. tackle, high tackle there. An advantage has been paid to Gillum. Goes to hand to Simmons. Simmons now comes oh. to 50. Can have a look at the shot on goal. It's a nice looking kick from Simmons. And Simmons has kicked the goal. So that's a great bit of play there from the Werribee side. Took the advantage right up. And Sean Simmons kicks his second for the afternoon and moves... Them along to 10 goals, 10. They still trail Bell Post Hill, 10 goals, 14. Gee, they've, they've all rushed into Chris Gillum then. He's uh, put the body on the line, didn't he? Well, he took it for the team, and yeah. uh, surely it was another free kick yeah. if the umpire's a fair dinkum. Goodness gracious, mate. How they, they get away with that? He might be missing a tooth or two. Oh. <laughs> so 20 <laughs> like, minutes Like head on the shoulders. He's having a few words to his opponent, who I shan't name. For obvious reasons. That was terrible. Yeah. Back, Back in the center ground. Go on, Eric. 20 and a half minutes gone, third quarter. Neither Ruckman clear tap away on this occasion. It's pretty tough in the trenches in there. Comes out to Wallace again. Does well. Handball out wide to Beck. Beck now on the left foot towards Chug. He's coming to the game in this quarter, Chug, as he uh, takes the ball. He keeps it going. Gee, the boundary umpire was a fair way behind. He could have kept going and... Uh, I tell you what, he's not very happy about the decision, but it stands. The umpire was uh, a long way behind there, and Chuggy, I think he was a bit half-hearted about going for it, so maybe he needed to be a bit more positive. It's inside forward 50 for Werribee Centrals, 21 minutes into this third quarter. Ruckman, go at the, at the ball, comes to the front of the pack, Page, left foot round the corner, Wallace sitting back, takes the mark, plays on quickly. 
terrible looking kick, but oh, oh. Good. luck is a fortune. There was that Dean, hooked it around the body, terrible looking kick, and landed in the arms of Jason Festuca. Man on the mark, 40 metres from goal. And uh, would you believe, a goal here puts Werribee Central's in front almost for the first time in the day. So Jason Festuca, an important kick at the 22 minute mark of this third quarter. They just keep coming, Werribee, as Festuca now moves in. Probably better on the run. It's not a bad looking kick. Not going to make the distance. Up high is, uh, was Cornish up there. Maybury it was. And uh, Kazuna not very happy about that as the ball is cleared. And uh, I'd say Kazuna is right in front of the goal umpire. And uh, they just let him go as the ball continues. It's handball from Parker. Nathan Lewis over the top to uh, Urquhart. Urquhart can't control it. It's over the boundary line. And uh, we'll have a throw in in front of the social club here. And uh, I'll tell you what, just between us, if these umpires don't take a bit better control, it could get right out of hand. Ball now, coming back in from the uh, boundary umpire. Ruckman now, don't uh, go for it. Beck, the big tap forward, runs past Simmons and his opponent there in Fursland. Fursland does get it handily, gets it out. Norton, handball, oh. stolen by uh, Carr. Carr for Belpost Hill now, runs towards half forward. It's a good looking kick. Mark bounces off the, the chest there of uh, Popovsky. Picking it up. Well, not picking it up. It's tight in the clinches in there as the uh, ball comes out to uh, Dave Kennedy. Long oh. kick straight in the arms of Parker at 50. Goes goalwards with the long, long, long kick. Marked either in the goal square or right beside it by uh, Popovsky. The umpire is going to signify what? That he's outside the goal square because it was in the goal square. The man on the mark comes back to the middle, but no. What is he doing? No, well, he's uh, he's indicated in the goal square. So Popovsky comes to the uh, dead set to the front. So uh, a goal for Popovsky has uh, just marginally increased the lead for the Bell Post Hill side. That's their 11th, 11, 14, 80. 10-10-70 Werribee Centrals. Raiders bingo third quarter scoreboard. 24 minutes gone. How important was that miss of Festuca, Laurie? Oh, yeah. It was, you've got to kick them, haven't you? Uh, but the other thing about it, there was no one else down the goal square. Yeah, like the, the Mabry court, by himself. But on his own, he was no way known he was going to do... Uh, you know, the big Ruckman got to learn to get down there and... Uh, well, somebody there. Yeah, certainly. Ruckman, Senar forward. Festuca back in the middle, yeah. That's better. You can't assume anything in today's game. No, well, you cannot. Good saying here. Good so, point. <laughs> Ruckman, again, ball thrown in the air. Bowyer, Clayton again, wins the ball, knocks it forward. Shannon runs onto the ball, has now an opportunity to put them in into attack again. Chug leads, Casino the ball, but Casino does well. Hits the ball forward, comes back to Hardy, he picks the ball up. Now he's looking to handball out, but oh, Shannon steals the ball out of his hand. Goes forward again, this time Walsh with a chance to take the ball. Can't pick the ball up. Good pressure there from Marinovic. Simmons is in there to support him. A kid with uh, Hammond now over the ball. Ball's just sitting underneath players. Umpire's just waiting to ping someone here, I think. The ball's pushed out, and Willie Urquhart has the ball. Goes onto his left side. Travis Furzland leads to the ball. Picks the ball up nicely. Gets around Robinson. Now has a time to set. He takes one bounce. It looks the ball forward. Leading across the ground is Tar. Tar, a good strong lead. Takes the mark. Outside 50. Between centre wing and the half forward line. Goes quickly to the forward line. A long kick. But Kennedy coming across. Ooh, two grabs the ball. Can't take the ball. Lewis comes in. It's tackled immediately. And the umpire is going to ball it up. 15 metres out from goal. So Nathan Push Lewis. And going on oh, and he's given a free kick yeah. here. Yep. Yeah. Nathan Lewis has been awarded a free kick. 15 <laughs> metres out. Gee. They've paid some soft ones, but... Uh, Again, without having seen what happened, do you see what happened, Cal? Yeah, just yeah, just uh, just flung Lewis to the ground, I think. So you can nearly put your glasses down on this one, but Nathan Lewis from 15, 20 metres out, nearly directly in front, it's kicks home. another goal for the Bell Post Hill side. So the uh, coach has done the right thing there, and won a free kick and puts their 12th goal on the board. So they move to 12 goals, 14. They lead Werribee Central's 10 goals, 10. Ticked over just on uh, 26 minutes, third quarter Raiders bingo scoreboard. They're always important goals in time on, Laurie, aren't they? And at this stage of this game, that could be a vital goal. Yeah, it certainly will be, Eric. There's no doubt about that. Uh, both sides are working hard around the pack, so, I mean, they know the importance of this uh, game. Uh, it's probably uh, just slipping away from wherever a little bit. So they've got to find something. Uh, yeah, Bell Post Hill, uh, I didn't see what that free kick was for, but the umpy did. So in the middle... 
Uh, Bayer doesn't go for it. Let's uh, Carlton go unattended. Belpo still players uh, bump into one another, but strength gets holiday the football. He goes wide. Oh, Hardy edged his opponent. Cornish out of the contest, takes the mark, goes on quickly. The ball all of a sudden is at full forward for Belpo still once again. As, uh, well, Kennedy more than happy to uh, concede a behind. So uh, 15's behind there to Belpo still 12, 15, 87. They lead Werribee Central's 10, 10, 70. Raiders Bingo third quarter scoreboard. 27 minutes gone as uh, Kennedy brought the ball back into play. I reckon he's kicked it straight to Justin Tarr outside 50. And some of the uh, decision-making out of defence from Werribee has left a bit to be desired here as uh, Belpost Hill looked to uh, go into three-quarter time with a decent margin off the... Uh, well, now the rushed. That, uh, surely there's a better way of getting it out of there as uh, Kennedy again handballs it through. That's uh, five rush behinds and uh, they need to get the ball to the other end of the ground. 12-16-88, Bell Post Hill, 10-10-70, Werribee Central's. Raiders bingo third quarter scoreboard, 27 and a half minutes. Ball's brought back into play by Kennedy, goes short over the top, finds Matt Shannon. Shannon now quickly on towards the half back and Thwaites attacks the ball nicely and uh, taking a few good marks today, Thwaites. Plays on quickly. Goes now towards the half-forward line. Not a good-looking kick, but has effective because it's found Robertson. Has Norton running past, but now looking for something further down the ground. Brendan Chug looks like it's going to be the option. Goes to the true and half-forward position. Has Casino under the ball. Cameron Carr floats in. Doesn't take the mark, but gets away from Foley. Runs his full 10. Kicks the ball towards half-forward. They go over the top is Hardy. Shannon in front, but Parker front and square of the contest. Doesn't take clean possession. Picked up there by Wallace, I think it was. Should have been probably awarded a free kick for over the shoulder, but his uh, play's allowed to go on. Shannon again wins the ball. Goes to Foley by hand. He's tackled as he bounces the ball. and That's got to be a free kick or over the shoulder or drop on the ball or and it's dropping the ball the latter and Wells wins the free kick it goes quickly to half forward Hart is there has a possession there and goes by hand to Parker. Parker now goes towards the goal scorer again. Poposki, well done by Dixon. Urquhart runs with the ball, can't pick it up. Poposki round the corner, shoots on goal and I think Jeez. Will Urquhart says that's good it. enough. That's so Nick Poposki so. has kicked the goal for Bell Post Hill and the floodgates might just start to be opening up here for Belpo's Till side. They move along to 13 goals, 16. They lead Werribee Central's 10 goals, 10. 29 minutes gone, third quarter, Raiders bingo scoreboard. Laurie, uh, the easy goals Belpo's Till have missed and all of a sudden. Popovsky, the miraculous goal, ran the corner over the shoulder and floated through. And he's had a quiet day, Nick, down there too, Eric. He has. I've got him down there. I'm doing his stats here. I've got him down for three kicks and uh, two handballs. Three-quarter time, Ballerine, Cal? Yeah, Torquay, 12-17. Eric lead, Bowen heads 5-11. Ooh, so poor kicking down there as well at Ocean Grove. But it's back in the middle here at uh, St Albans. Tap from Bowyer, went to Wells. Pulled off the ball as he tried to kick. Oh, there's... Uh, now. Oh, shoot. The fella gets tackled from behind, faced first into the turf, and it's holding the ball. I just... Uh, right I, into the ground. I rest my case. God. <laughs> Why, why go for the ball? You're not going to get anything here today as Belpo <coughs> still. They're back in attack. Hammond dropped the mark but continues on. Handball to work it. Handball back to Fursland. It's inside 50 again for Belpo still. It's at full forward. A lot of players go for the mark there. Dyer sat back. Can't kick him on the left foot. Can't kick him on the right as well. So Dyer from 15 metres out directly in front has missed again. It's I reckon Stewie behind. Dyer can only won this game off his own boot today. Absolutely. The opportunity's out. He's hit kick three behinds and about four out of bounds. But it is a 17th for Belpost still. 13, 17, 95. 10, 10, 70, Werribee Central's. Raiders bingo, third quarter scoreboard. 30 and a half minutes gone. Ball's brought back in by Kennedy. Gets to their half-back line. And we have the Werribee side clearing possession through Warren Foley. Foley, a boomerang kick going forward, but no one there. And Casina cleans up across the centre wing. Comes back to the centre ground. Hammond by himself. Now runs towards the centre, attacking side of centre. Kicks the ball long to half forward. Stewie Dyer comes over the top as the siren sounds to end the third quarter. Seeing the North Bell Post Hill side. They lead 13 goals, 17-95. Werribee Central's 10 goals, 10 70. Goal kickers for the game to date. For uh, Belpost Hill, two each to Luke Parker, Nathan Lewis, Nick Popovsky, and Justin Tarr. One each to Will Urquhart, Brent Hardy, Travis Fursland, Adam Wells, and Eloise Kazina. For Werribee Central, three to Matt Welsh, two to Sean Simmons, two to Jason Festuka, 
one each to Chris Gillum, Brad Mabry and Brendan Chug. Yeah, three quarter time here at the Snorbins. Bellpost Hill, 13 17 95 lead, where it'll be 10 10 70. Go to a break when we return. Laurie to go all his thoughts on that third quarter. You're tuned to 94.7 The Pulse, your home of local football.